Let's head for the bridge. So, this Paddock. How does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it either. direction, which is why it's called a turn. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? We started by finding a control. Hey, it's one. Perfect. <laughs> Damn it! 
train turned around. Need another pair of hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the control rooms. Jack, get that train pointed toward the hangar. Get your people do it! They're not there anymore! Why did you send the train back? 
it. What? It won't make it. The bridge has to be lowered first. Can your people do it? They're not there anymore. Why did you send the train back without lowering the bridge? Because we... we didn't... Oh, forget it. We'll lower it ourselves.
when she figures out we're getting the hammer online. Again. Settlement 2 shifted her thinking a bit. Obviously, no thanks to me. Meanwhile, I often wonder who stuffed that gigantic stick up her ass. Confirm <laughs> no comment from Captain Phoenix on that one. Paddock, Baird. We're heading into the training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. <laughs> we can all agree on that one. Guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could rope my fist into the discussion again. Thanks, man.
Here's our way in. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Things in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. There's our security terminal. Just need a way for Jack to access it. Jack, pulse! Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facility's activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the centrifuge. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red Condor out there. Yo, Bear! You lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. <laughs> Can't believe Baird's secretly a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, it crawled in anywhere. Well, you pulled it. Look who's here. We got a Scion. And it's got a bastard. Run. Put these assholes down. Bob's having some trouble, mate. Reboot it. You're okay. Jack, take him. Appreciate that. On me, up here.
Oh, hard shell space suits? How advanced was the UIR space program? So, all the exits are blocked, now what? Jack, activate that crane. Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. You got it! Well, let's hope this one holds. Jack, let's do it again. Get in there, Jack. Mm -hmm. That's the ticket. <laughs> Come on, we can get out this way. Just a few DBs weren't corrupted. Come on, this way. Look out! Almost there! Centrifuge building's dead ahead. Hang on, we got a straggler. Get on up! Not for long! Let's check the security cameras. Well, look who it is. Oh shit, more of them. Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. Jack, see what you can do?
and take them! are okay. Come on. Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Fira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. Jack, need some light in here. Yeah, well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know, Paddock's sending folks out here. We should probably clear out the rest of the swarm. Also yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much using a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. You're covered. Okay, let's go. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storms no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> We got swarm, people! Get behind those sand glass things! They're called Bogorite! Yeah, tomato, tomato! Ah, 
it. The door's welded shut. Jack, rip the door and hurry. Surprise in no one. We got more swarm coming in. Can we hold them up? JD, how's the beacon? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's dying down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. <sighs> Foss, Del. Why don't you get the other side? Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? Pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporal compliments, we should decide whether we're headed straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh man, saying it into my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen though. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So, why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the Cog border? Vascari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. 